even when I lose, I still win because I learn. Now that's a unique mindset, especially since. Crazy. Of the 10 fastest times in history, history, Sydney holds six of those records. <laughs> You would think that she wouldn't be too accustomed to losing, but having a great mindset definitely works in her favor as she does not put too much pressure on herself and just enjoys the race. Well, at least she is now. Before, it was a different matter altogether. I think anxiety and fear for me kind of just came from my desire to want to be perfect in all things. And the reality is that nobody can do that. And I think for me that was a constant battle internally of how do I get as close to perfect as possible. She noted that in a world where you can't control your circumstances or what happens to you all the time, uh, for me, it constantly left me in a state of fear. And uh, especially on the track, racing against other people who are as good, if not better. Needless to say, that took a toll on her. That was a constant battle of, am I enough? Will I ever be enough? Or will I ever measure up to the standard that I have for myself and that other people have for me? Now, she found the strength to break away from that kind of mindset and just embrace the challenges as they come. Speaking of which, she is set to step foot on the track again a few months away from the Summer Olympics. As most of you are aware, Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni missed the World Track and Field Championships last year due to a minor knee issue. In a post, she shared that after consulting with her doctors and coaches, it was decided that she needed to take care of a minor knee issue so that she could be fully healthy for the Paris Olympics. As a matter of fact, Sydney did not race again for the rest of the 2023 season, although she did not require surgery. Notably, the Olympic and world champion and world record holder in the 400 meter hurdles started racing the flat 400 meters last season before she announced her withdrawal eight days before the world started in Budapest. But bear in mind that shortly before she withdrew, McLaughlin Lavroni won the US 400 meter title in 48.74 seconds, four hundredths shy of the American record. It was the world's fastest time since Shanae miller Owebo of the Bahamas won the Tokyo Olympic title in 48.36. Anyhow, with only six months remaining until the much-anticipated Paris 2024 Olympics, athletes worldwide are intensifying their preparations for the pinnacle of athletic competition. Sydney is no exception. While Sydney's previous decision to step back disappointed her fans, her statement during the conversation with Ali Love posted on YouTube has created sparks among fans and the sports community. She said she's focused on achieving her long-term goals and is completely determined to return to peak form ahead of the Olympic Games. Paris would be a new experience for her, and if all goes according to plans, she'd probably add more Olympic medals to her already remarkable collection. At the 2021 Olympics in Tokyo, she not only won the gold medal in the women's 400-meter hurdles, but also broke the world record. Unsurprisingly, she's expected to compete for medals again in July in one of the world's most iconic cities. Paris is a dream come true, said McLaughlin Lavroni. The stores, the roads, the cafes, all of it, it's a dream. I love the fashion. Everybody here has amazing taste and I just love to be able to see all the different looks, all the different designers. It's just really cool to see the culture here. Despite the excitement for her comeback, McLaughlin Lavroni has yet to announce which event she'll focus on in the lead up to Paris. If she goes for both, she will have a chance to become the first woman to win Olympic medals in both the 400 meter and 400 meter hurdles. If she attempts the 400-meter flat, Sydney's top competition would be two-time defending Olympic champion and 2022 world champion Shanae miller Owebo of the Bahamas and Tokyo silver medalist Marilady Paulino of the Dominican Republic. In the 400-meter hurdles, U.S. star Delilah Muhammad and Dutch woman Femke Boll represent McLaughlin Lavroni's top competition. Bull won the 400-meter hurdles world title in 2023, while Muhammad won gold in the event in Rio, plus earned silver in Tokyo. In fact, one of the most eagerly awaited showdowns will be that between Femke Bull and Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni in the women's 400-meter hurdles, and potentially the 400-meter flat. It's a face-off that has been bubbling since the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, where McLaughlin Lavroni won the 400-meter hurdles title in a world record time while Bowl came third. 
Sydney then announced her intentions in 2023 to compete over the flat, which has only upped the ante. Because it's in that event that Dutch woman Bol, herself a two-time world medalist in the hurdles event, has been making waves, especially indoors on a short track. Although McLaughlin Lavroni has yet to commit to the flat for Paris, and Bol has not run the distance at either of the last two world championships. Regardless of which event she chooses to compete in this year, or perhaps both, what is certain at this point is that she is back on track, pun intended. American track phenom Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni made her long-awaited return to the track a few days ago as a member of a woman's 4x100 meter quartet at the Mount Sac Relays in California. The 2024 Mount Sac Relays were held at the Hilmer Lodge Stadium in Walnut, California, United States for three days from April 17th to April 20th. The American hurdler and sprinter returned to the track on Saturday competing in the women's elite 4x100 meter relay event. McLaughlin Lavroni, along with Kenny Harrison, Jenna Prandini, and Morole Kakunason, ran for the Formula Kersey, securing second place behind Team International, comprising Dina Asher Smith, Rasadat Adaleke, Lene Tava Thomas, and Julian Alfred. While Team International clocked 42.03 seconds, Formula Kersey followed, recording 42.93 seconds. Some would say that the second place finish is understandable, especially since Sydney, the double Olympic champion and women's 400 meter hurdles world record holder, has not raced since she won the flat 400 meter at the US Championships in June 2023. The 24 year old could not defend her world title after she pulled out of the 2023 World Championships in Budapest due to a minor knee issue. The hiatus brought an end to a spectacular run of form, which saw her lower the world record in the 400-meter hurdles four times in two years. In addition to making her comeback at the 2024 Mount Sac Relays, the 24-year-old was also spotted in a unique and striking running kit. McLaughlin Lavroni opted for a brown kit that featured a cutout on the left side of her torso and an off-shoulder top on her right hand. She paired the look with a golden watch and beige New Balance spikes. The Sprint Star unveiled the latest New Balance signature collection, which featured footwear and apparel and was launched on March 7, 2024. The personalized collection features products that were hand-picked by Sydney herself. The collection includes a French terry hoodie, leggings, a classic varsity jacket, trousers, and a line of 9060 footwear models. Anyway, Mount Sac Relays in California was her first race this year, so it's basically just the beginning of her Olympic season, literally. What's next for the world and Olympic champion is her first 400-meter hurdles in 20 months in mid-May. As per Olympics.com, the American will run her first 400-meter hurdles at the 2024 USATF Los Angeles Grand Prix on May 18th. Just so you know, the reigning Olympic champion has not raced since August 2022, when she won the Gulia Istvan Memorial. At the event, the American will be up against former world record holder Delilah Muhammad and compatriot Anna Cockrell. World indoor champion Christian Coleman has also confirmed participation in the 100 meters, with Gabby Thomas and Abby Steiner set to compete in the women's 200 meters. Needless to say, Sydney is running towards being a part of the U.S. team for Paris. In fact, the 24-year-old is now excited to get her Paris 2024 Olympic season in gear as she looks to reproduce her magical moment from Tokyo 2020 when she lowered her world record to 50.68 seconds. I just want to be better than I was in Tokyo, improve upon myself. I don't know what event I'll possibly be doing, but just represent Team USA very well. McLaughlin Lavroni said in a recent NBC News interview. There's no doubt that she will represent the country well. The question is, will this athlete do it too?